This is the video example solution to the pressure problem. A diving bell is 2,560 meters below the surface of the ocean and feels a pressure of 25,942,000 pascals. If the round window in the diving bell is a radius of 15 centimeters, then how much force is pressing on the window? So let's start by looking at listing our givens. And when listing the givens, we'll look for some unit clues. So the diving bell is 2,560 meters below the surface of the ocean, but I'm not going to call it the depth when I'm listing my givens. Instead, I'm going to call that the height that the ocean surface is above the bell. So the diving bell is the lowest point. I'm going to call that zero. So this is actually the height that the surface is above the bell, 2,560 meters. Let's see, it gives me the pressure, because it says pascals. So that's 25,942,000 pascals. And it tells me the radius is 15 centimeters. But centimeters aren't a standard unit, so I'll divide that by 100 to convert it over to meters. And finally, it's asking for how much force is pressing on the window. So let's see, I'm looking for an equation with force. Ah, so I'll start with Newton's second law, F equals ma. But wait, this thing isn't accelerating anywhere, so that's not going to work. Maybe impulse, j is equal to ft. Uh, that's not going to work either, because it's not about time. So these are just stabs in the dark. That's not really the right way to go about this problem. Instead, let me look for some other clues. I've got pressure. I'm looking for force. And radius, oh, there we go. By definition, pressure is equal to force over area. So that's the equation I want to use. Pressure is equal to force over area. So my strategy is a two-step process. I'm going to calculate the area, and then I'm going to calculate the force from pressure. So to calculate the area, it's a round window. So that's going to be the area is going to be pi r squared. So the area is pi times 0 0.150 meters squared. So the area is going to be pi times 2.25 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. Now I'm leaving the pi symbol in there because I know that later on when I use it, I'm going to use the pi symbol in my calculator to do the calculations. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that pi there. Calculate the force from pressure. That's my next step. So I know that pressure is equal to force over area. So therefore, if I rearrange the equation, force is equal to pressure times area. So now I can just plug in my numbers. Straightforward plug and chug kind of thing. 25,942,000 pascals times pi times 2.25 times to the negative 4 meters squared. Notice when I'm writing these exponents, I'm not using the e to the negative 4 or e negative 4 symbol. That's something your calculator does when texting you the answers. But when you're writing it down on the paper and you're showing someone else, that's not the proper format. That's not the accepted math uh, format. So you need to make sure that you show it as times 10 to the negative 4. So my answer is 5,836.95 newtons. And if you're following sig figs, that would be 5,840 newtons with three sig figs.